I'm here in the Caesarstone showroom to create a colour scheme and I'm going to share this with you to hopefully give you inspiration for your own home. Now I come here quite often because I get to see these large slabs of the stone and it helps me put all of my finishes against there to make sure that I'm 100% happy with the scheme. My inspiration for this kitchen is actually two tones and because I'm going for something quite dark and a rich timber tone, I wanted a benchtop colour that wasn't too crisp and white. Whilst that could work, I actually want to tone down the mood in this space, so Georgian Bluffs is the perfect choice. I really love this stone because it replicates the look of natural stone. It's got quite a deep layered effect as you look inside. It's got a great undertone of soft grey, but there's so many colours within there that you don't realise they're there until you start putting colours against it. You can see this bluey grey vein that runs through the stone. It's nicely placed when you look at the whole slab, so it works really well for a kitchen island or splashback. But it's also got some subtle detail with a little bit of almost peppering or salting really because it's got the white detail and a really subtle white line that runs through it as well. So you can team it with white. In this scheme, however, I want to go quite dark and moody. And you can see already how beautifully the colours in the stone are picking up the cabinetry colours. Whilst the stone has got great character, I already have a very busy floor in this home. We're going for this really quite busy terrazzo stone. It's got such rich character, it's almost got that mid-century modern feel. And you can already see how the colours of the bench top are picking up some of the colours in the floor. That's why you bring your samples into a showroom to see how they work in situ. I've got a couple of options for the splashback in this kitchen. A tinted mirror is one choice to go to. It's bouncing light around the home and it's actually tinted in a grey. So that grey tinge in the mirror actually works really well with the Georgian Bluff stone. But I do have another great option that I can work with and that is going with a textured splashback with a nicely ribbed subway tile which I'd lay vertically. Again, the colour in the stone works quite well. That's why you put finishes against finishes. I'm happy with how this is looking, so I'm going to lay it out as a flat lay just to make sure I'm 100% ready to lock it in. That natural marble look of Georgian Bluffs allow me to put quite burnished finishes together in the tapware. I can go with this aged bronze or the brushed brass because they both work so well and the colour scheme just feels deep and moody and yet very sophisticated and comfortable for a family home. We've got one look but I've got another option to show you. I'm going with a modern edgy bathroom here but I can go two ways with the cabinetry. That's the versatility of Georgian Bluffs. Again, that beautiful stone look, that nice vein allows me to pick up darker colours to pick up the dark vein or lighter colours to pick up that subtle little white detail. In this case, I've got a beautiful cloudy base tile. As I lay these out, I've got a couple of options. Now, I can go with a beautiful deep inky blue in the cabinetry. You can just see how well that works with the Georgian Bluffs because it picks up that blue detail in the veining. I can also put it together with this fantastic ply look. It's, all, it's got a subtle timber grain in there. It's a wood matte finish. Of course, the other option is to go for a completely fresh look, and that's with white cabinetry. And it doesn't look too stark because now the deeper tone is in the stone. The Georgian Bluffs is helping ground the look. And in this case, having it on the stone and then having that floor tile allows me to create a really well-balanced space. As I lay this out, you can start to see how this look comes together. You can see once I lay it out the versatility of Georgian Bluffs, so I can go quite deep with my cabinetry and let the tiles and the stone be the lighter details, adding a beautiful backdrop. But I can also go the other way and go for a very white vanity and let the floor tiles and the stone be the feature. Either way, of course, you have to match your jewellery and I've got two options for that as well. I do like this bit of bling, this beautiful brush brass look, edgy and lets the whole look come together. I think it works equally well on the dark tones as it does on the light, but with the white stone, I really love the look of the matte black. 
Creating flat lays like this is how I make sure that the look is complete and really well balanced. And you can do it too. I invite you to go to your nearest Caesarstone showroom, bring in your cabinetry and your tile samples and place them against the stone. That way you can make sure that the tones work really well together and you get a cohesive and really well balanced look. Or to start to do your homework, I encourage you to jump online to caesarstone.com.au. You can find a full list of every item I've used here in these flat lays, as well as taking a look at their perfect pairings where their creative team have matched all of the Caesarstone range with Polytech finishes and wall colours to truly inspire you.